you know, you guys are probably asking yourself, like, but he sure is playing a lot of Hearts Fine 4. He, he must be really enjoying it again. Maybe he'll start making videos on it regularly. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I am essentially, though, trying to run through all of these mods so that I can do a few different type of videos and a few different nostalgic type of videos that we haven't really got to yet. But uh, the, the list of Hearts Fine 4 mods, because obviously I did it for two years on this channel, Oh my god, it's long. So I'm trying to blast through the important one. Uh, but you know, before we get into today's mod, let's give a big shout out to today's sponsor, me. Go, go buy my hoodie. Look how warm it is. I, hundreds of you have bought it so far, so it must be pretty damn good. Come on. You don't, you don't want to get cold from Santa this year. You've been a good boy. You've been playing loads and loads of Hearthstone 4 and hitting the sub and like button. So you get yourself a good history boy hoodie from Santa that you do have to buy. Or you can get your mom to buy it. Go ask mom right now. I'll wait. We'll all wait. Everyone, just wait for this guy to go get his mom's credit card. Your mom's dead. Okay, let's move on. Right, so today's mod is the Endseek mod for Hearts of Iron 4. We've did a, quite a few videos on this in the past. And uh, today, I'm hoping... I actually... I have played this before pretty recently. I do know that a few new scenarios have been added. So, if you don't know what the MC mod is, it essentially adds a few more scenarios that are a bit more difficult than the ones that you start with in the base game. So, obviously, if you're a bit of a mad boy, you can try to go ahead and actually save Germany in 1945, but I don't know if you've seen Germany in 1945, but personally, <laughs> if, it, if it ever loads, um, yeah, Germany, Germany's a... Uh, Jummy's not looking too good. Uh, now, I do know that you can actually win these scenarios. Uh, you can do it with a few little tips and tricks, a little glitchy witchy. But uh, realistically, it's not that fun. It's not going to be that fun for you guys to watch. But I will be trying out quite a few of them. So just for a, a quick look at exactly why the Germany 1945 start date isn't that nice to you. And it's uh, pretty difficult, you know. Um, you start off immediately by just, you know... That's a lot of dead people. That's a, that's a, uh, yeah. So, uh, if you look on the front lines, uh, that German, that German equipment, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it doesn't exist, does it? There's, um, there's, there's basically, we got a few kids on the front line with a couple of sticks. And half of them don't even have sticks. Now, Soviets, on the other hand, uh, they look like they got more than sticks. Uh, so, the tables really have turned quite hard here. Yeah, so I think it realistically, it's probably at this point, uh, Mr. Schmittler probably regrets invading all of those countries at the same time. Don't worry, guys. This is how we can still win the war. We just have to wait until everybody dies of... I think I just lost the war. Well. Oh, actually. That's not that bad. That's quite a bit of land, actually. Well, you know what? I may have gone flipped to a communist puppet of the USSR, but who's the real winner here? That looks like a great, a great Germany to me. Oh, I am... Um, Looks like they, uh, they forgot to take out Mr. Goebbels. <laughs> Just, uh, we'll, we'll give it another shot, shall we? Oh, that's a little awkward. Maybe, maybe we did get away quite free. Where, <laughs> where'd you go, Schmidt? <laughs> Are you hiding down here, by any chance? Uh, you know, I don't think I'm gonna keep playing this. Because, uh, it does appear that the Soviets immediately just started World War Three there. And, uh, you know what? I don't know if I can be bothered to deal with that. Wait, I just got called into a peace deal. Did they win the war? Why do, why do I get a say in this? I'm a puppet! Oh my god. I can... I can actually take stuff. Okay, sure. <laughs> why not? I, I, I always thought the German Empire should probably rebuild in Nepal. <laughs> always made sense to me. Uh, there you go. That's, that just makes no goddamn sense in the world, does it? Oh, that just gave me a whole bunch of convoys too, which means if I can go ahead and <laughs> just essentially... <laughs> immediately break free, but I need to be able to send Lenly, so can you start another war, please, Mr. Stalin? Uh, little did Stalin know his little incursion into Turkey means I'm about to break free. <laughs> um, you know, I don't want to say you should have seen this one coming, but, uh, yeah, realistically, probably should have seen this one coming. Oh, you know, look at that, just in time for someone to nuke Japan! You know, I like how if I do the expand the dockyard focus, uh, both of the, uh, well, all four of those naval dockyards end up in Italy, which, uh, no one seems to question why I own. Okay, I went AFK for a while, I came back, and what's that? We're holding a national referendum to bring back a certain political party. Oh my god, he's back! How, how'd that happen? Now, now, of course, this isn't actually how you play MC. <laughs> you know, I just, I just thought, let's, uh, you know, what? Can we do it? And uh, yeah, apparently we can do it. Oh, here you go, boys. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing promises of peace. Uh, 
also just fine on Astra. Oh. Yeah. That's, um... What's going on over here? Again, I have no idea why I'm still playing. I, I, I'm invading Austria now, so we're just giving it a go. Right, we're, we're gonna end this quickly. We're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna create the Axis round, round two, Hitler Boogaloo. And uh, we're gonna declare war on the Soviets and just see what happens. How exactly my hopes are right now are pretty small. But, you know what? The Soviets only had 540 to 700 divisions. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, actually, they don't have that much on my uh, my thing here. I reckon I could actually push here. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's get some air over this place. And uh, we, we, we do have a lot of green. It's, uh, it's a lot of green. It's a lot of green. That's uh, it's a lot of green. Oh my. Um. Well, that's a lot of troops in Denmark. <laughs> oh my god, I can actually force attack across. What the hell's going on? Uh, so note to self, AI: don't ever overstack a province this badly because all it takes is just eleven <laughs> under-equipped German. They're not even trained guys to push you all the way back to Copenhagen. Uh, so just check the casualties. And uh, if you're wondering how many men I just stack wiped out there, that was around 1.2 million. Uh, that is definitely without a doubt, some sort of war crime. Uh, you know, because with the massive imbalance that was going on at the start, I have gone ahead and killed 5.4 million Soviets, which is pretty impressive, considering I currently have zero manpower and absolutely no guns whatsoever. But, I'm assuming, probably because uh, the Soviets just kept grinding on me, and then they got wiped out in Copenhagen, they also have no equipment, and I can just walk over them. Now, question is, can I, can I manage to capitulate them before... I also run out of manpower completely. Uh, I just want to reiterate for the fifth time, though, this is not how you play Edseek. I don't know why I'm still playing. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun. Oh, considering where we went from and where we are now, uh, you know, the fact we are about new Stalingrad is, uh, well, interesting. Well, you know what? Kind of one way to win the uh, Siege of Leningrad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the option for a uh, scripted peace deal, which I'm gonna do, just to see how it ends up. If it's terrible, I guess we'll just uh, reload and do it the normal way. Uh, well, that is, um... Yeah, that's kind of terrible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the pre-war border, right? Oh, wait, there you go. Uh, it finally kicked in. Uh, you know, it's not that bad. Um... But it's also not that great. Let's try to do it normal. There you go. Not the prettiest borders, but that will do. We we beat Enseek by losing. Anyway, on to the next one. So one of the interesting scenarios in Enseek is it actually has a World War One scenario too, which a lot of people actually play nowadays over the actual World War One mod. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go. I'm also gonna try out the UK, and uh, well, that's just rude. I just got in the game. All right, who the hell's the dervish? Oh. I'm gonna have to naval inv- Mr. Trudeau? Um, the best part is, uh, I can't actually naval invade them because I've yet to discover the rowing boat. Oh, okay. I uh, got a little bit bored and walked away from the computer for a second, but don't worry, I didn't miss no- Oh! Oh, oh god. Okay, uh, no, I'm awake. I, I didn't fall asleep. I did not fall asleep. Now, we could go ahead and stay neutral, but- I almost fell asleep <laughs> already, so probably not going to do that one. So, uh, obviously, being British, the uh, first priority is to steal as much of Germany's colonies as possible, and then we'll, you know, we'll deal with whatever the hell this is. At some point, maybe, we'll just see how many French people die first. Oh, well, it looks like Mr. Ottoman Schmartemans has picked the wrong side of the war, so I'm going to have to punish them the only way the British can, too, and that's by stealing a couple ships. You know, I just realised... That British flag's upside down. <laughs> oh, uh, I stole those ships, and I think Turkey just capitulated somehow. I don't even... What? how that happen? I didn't... I didn't even push that far in, but, you know, I guess that's... That's the front down. Uh, eventually, we'll... No, we're not gonna help. I've also ran out of places to build new factories, so I'm just gonna tactically uh, just annex Egypt there. And we now, now we should be able to. Yep. Don't, well, uh, well, you know, it's still a bit of slave labor. That's right, boys. You help me win the war in the Middle East. Now it's time to get get in the sweatshop. So uh, at some point, uh, the British remembered that there was a war going on, and we found out we're actually 
pretty ruddy good at it. Who would have thought if you drop like a couple million troops uh, the, uh, against an enemy that uh, has lost how many? Uh, one, one million. One million men uh, on, on the front line. It actually does quite a bit of damage. Oh, 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 oh what I say, old chap. Uh, this old war business is it's a whole lot of good sport, isn't it? Oh, I, I sure do wish that there might be a second one of these great wars at some point. Uh, yeah, at some point, by the way, uh, the, these damn Turkish people have come back. And uh, I, I don't know why. And I, I don't know why Armenia is just getting bigger and bigger on the map. But you know what? <laughs> it just is what it is. By the way, uh, Turkish people, please don't hate me. Uh, it's just uh, it's part of the game. I didn't set it up. If you want to hate anyone, go hate your bank account and buy a History Boy hoodie and go change history. <laughs> oh, uh, going to be real, you Turkey. I think it's, uh, it's a little bit too late for that at this point. Uh, so yeah, I know, I'm pretty sure at this point I have probably won this war. But we are going to see it all the way through to the end. And uh, I was kind of hoping that the Russians might have died a little so we could have seen the Soviet Union. But, um, no. Oh, wait, did we just win? We just won! Uh, we're, uh, we're still at war of Austria, though. And, uh, you know what? Uh, every, every part I'm looking at of where we could possibly invade them from... Doesn't look too fun. Oh, there you go. Just, just when I thought my really AIDS invasion of Austria could get any worse, the Irish are acting up too now. Isn't that just beautiful? Unfortunately uh, for them, though, uh, I did kind of see it coming. Oh, there you go. Once again, old chap, just having a fun time in, in the Russias now. Uh, we've got ahead and got ourselves quite quite a big sport. I, I hate this so much. What's wrong with British people? Uh, although... That is that is actually quite a juicy encirclement. Though. I think we uh we might have an easier time pushing into Austria now. Oh, uh, there we go. I think we just won the war. There wasn't even a peace conference. Uh, Austria just exploded into a billion different countries. Um, kind of like it did in real life. Now I think about it. You know, I'll be real with you. I don't even think I can justify Armenia being this big. Uh, but yeah, that's World War One. Uh, surprisingly easy as usual. But uh, a good thing about Enseek is that you can technically actually carry on into the actual World War Two era. Um, how exactly that'll work? I have no goddamn idea, but I might keep going just for a little bit just to see if anything happens. Also, I got no idea what this Bazinga Treaty of Versailles ended up being. Because uh, for some reason, Germany has the Republic of Poland as a puppet, and they never lost their colonies down here, which is, uh... That's the whole reason I got in the war for! Oh, okay, yeah, I, I, I didn't think that was a piece that was gonna last. You know, I just noticed that, uh... Ukraine just exists down here, led by uh, this guy and his really cool hat. Oh, I'd um, I'd love to hear about you know Portugal's new flavor of the week leader, but uh, unfortunately, you know, I just can't do it. There's a giant picture of him in the way. Um, excuse me, Germany. I thought we just ended this war. Are you starting it up again? Oh, that's a, uh, that's a bit weird. It's two Portugals now. Um. Don't know why. Alright, so uh, now what's really happening, uh, it's 1919, we'd have to wait a hell of a long time for uh, to see this interwar thing happen. But um, either way, uh, I think we've seen all we need to see of NSEG for today. Uh, we've gone ahead, we've had fun in World War One, which I have to say was indeed a much better World War One scenario than the World War One mod, but then again, they have stopped developing that one for a very long time. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this another nostalgia-filled look at the NC mod for Hearts of Iron 4. And I'm promising you, we'll get past all this Hoi 4 stuff one day. I, I, there's like five or so more mods I need to do, and then we're free. So uh, if you leave, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, get yourself a History Boy merch hoodie. <laughs> Link in the description. <laughs>